So my take on the Seralini rat study, and I, I really appreciate this study for a lot of reasons because it is such a perfect example of how science can be used to frighten people and how it can be used to almost manipulate public perception. And I take a pretty strong stance on this particular paper. The day it came out, we sh I showed it to graduate students and postdocs, and we all sat there in awe that this thing could be published. The tiny numbers that were used, the overstepped conclusions that they had. The most egregious thing to me was the figure with the three lumpy rats. And you can Google you know, rats and cancer and you'll get this image where the authors show a rat that was fed Roundup, a rat that was fed GMO corn, and one that was fed GMO corn and Roundup. And they show they're all lumpy. Um, of course, they don't show you the control rat. That if you go back to table two, shows you also had an incidence of tumors. So this is a real sticking point for me because it says that an author sat there with their paper that they were ready to submit for publication and they sat there saying, do we show these three lumpy rats? That some scientist sat there and said, if we show the control, it, it shows that everybody has tumors. There's no fear there. There's no way to, to scare people with this. And that really bothers me because this is a case where scientists are using the scientific literature and the peer review process to advance some sort of a political motivation or some sort of a whatever motivation. But the idea is, is to cause fear.